Our next speaker is going to be Dr. Ian McGinnis, uh, another rock star of rheumatology. You know, if you tell somebody you talk to Ian about something, they know who you're talking about. So Ian is going to talk on uh, psoriatic arthritis. Well, welcome back. It's remarkable that so many of you, when faced with the uh, Caribbean Sea, sunshine, and me, made that choice. I want you to reflect deeply on this. Think of the wisdom, and remember the doors are now all locked securely, so your decision's made. Anyway, I need to, uh, so I have to give you a couple of disclosures here. Uh, now, this is a new doofer thing, so it worked. They haven't changed at all since this morning. And you know, I think Ed already alluded to this, but I do have to make it clear that Aside from the scintillating company, the intellectual provocation, the extraordinary interactions with the fellows yesterday, it is true that the sun helps to raise my seasonal affective disorder, which by April is at a very, very acute level, let me tell you. So, um, and I was challenged. I was challenged at lunchtime to say the weather's not that bad in Glasgow. And here it is. This is the weather forecast from the BBC. And what I want you to notice and I've pointed this out to many of you before. I want you to notice how many different varieties of rain we're having today in one city. I want you to notice how many different pictograms the BBC have invented for Glasgow alone. We have 16 that they use just for Glasgow. Not even in Yorkshire, Laura, do they have that number of problems, let me tell you. Anyway, one of the lovely things about coming, and, and the really sad thing is actually, I told you a lie there. This is actually July, it's not April. But the, um, the, the truth of the matter is that we had a lot of fun with our fellows yesterday. And um, actually, I, I, and I did learn this word last time I was in Florida, but I was reminded last night of, um, of the following phrase, and it was the word eye candy. <laughs> now, I... Uh, my, my, my daughter and I were doing this texting thing, and I said, you know, I'd heard all about the eye candy, and I wanted her to say to, to my wife, uh, Dad's having a good time, he's enjoying the eye candy. I didn't, I didn't really get the eye candy thing particularly, so I, I did Wikipedia, and uh, here it is. This is what eye candy actually is, okay? Eye candy is uh, apparently attractiveness. Um, this was news to me, or it's an album by, so I have no idea who Miss Teak is. I imagine it's a singer of some kind. Um, or it's a, a plug-in for Adobe Photoshop or an episode of Happy Tree Friends. So um, I have actually now uh, updated my wife in my activities today, and she believes that I'm lecturing to the Adobe company on innovative use of Photoshop in medical imaging. So um, if, again, and I do keep reminding you that if my wife contacts any of you, we are in southern Chicago talking about Adobe. Is that, can we all be, and if we stick together in this, I will be allowed back into Scotland unscathed. If it goes wrong, then I will be limping if I'm ever invited back to the beach with, uh, with David and Pam. So anyway, um, I was also asked to, to talk a bit about psoriatic arthritis, and we had a, a fabulous introduction to this subject with Laura this morning, who has done what is, I think, one of, well, it's, it's got to be the most innovative study ever done in PSA, and I just think it was fabulous. Um, and, and she's laid the groundwork and done most of my work for me, which is just super. So that's why the doors have been unlocked, and we're all going to the pool for the next hour. David, I'm only kidding. The CME guys wouldn't like it, so I, have to, I had to think of something to say. So I thought we would maybe just give you a kind of thinking, uh, a thought experiment. This is how I think we should consider the clinical conundrum that is PSA. And this afternoon is absolutely not like this morning. We're gonna, this is very clinical this afternoon. I want to tell you what, uh, we, how we think about things in the psoriatic arthritis clinic and how we do things, and I think we'll be doing them five years from now. Quick show of hands, who has a psoriatic arthritis clinic in their practice? You're going to have to throw them right up. I'm partially blind as well as jet lag. So there's not very many hands. Um, and what I will say to you is that that is more hands pro rata than I would have seen even two or three years ago, which is terrific. And it is interesting, isn't it? We'll run specialty clinics and I'm thinking more, I suspect, here about secondary and tertiary care than private practice. But even in the confines of private practice, I think it makes a lot of sense to start to aggregate and coalesce patients who have a given condition. And the reason I say that is not because I think it's important, because when we talk to patients,